After a short break, Tennessee lawmakers are back at the state capitol. Governor Bill Lee says there's unfinished business that will be beneficial during the pandemic. As News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, some lawmakers are hoping this process goes quickly. And that's partly because of concerns due to coronavirus, Vicki. Right now, there are three bills up at the state legislature. However, Nashville Democratic Senator Jeff Yarbrough says those bills don't rise to the level of urgency required for them to have a special session. When I heard that we were calling a special session on seven days notice, I assumed that that meant that we were, you know, doing some house cleaning on things that weren't going to be overly controversial. Um, but we've got legislation instead that is remarkably controversial and, you know, that has pretty serious constitutional defects in at least two or three different instances. He's talking about two of the bills. One has to do with liability protection for businesses, which reps from the House GOP say provides protections from frivolous lawsuits that could arise due to coronavirus. It's an issue that the legislature was discussing before convening, tabling it until January. But the governor wants them to pass it so businesses, hospitals, and individuals are protected. Yarbo thinks it covers too much and may protect businesses that are doing the wrong thing. Then there's a bill that would, which increases penalties for people who vandalize public property and clarifies what illegal camping is. It's a bill drafted because of violence during riots throughout the country. Democrats have said it directly targets protesters. However, last week we spoke to Speaker Cameron Sexton. He told me it's to protect first responders and penalize people who are looking to cause trouble. Well, it's not politically motivated. What it is is a way to protect our monuments, um, a way to protect public property from being uh, vandalized. Um, also, as a way to protect first responders, there's been incidents where law enforcement and firefighters and emergency service personnel um, have been targeted and assaulted. There's nothing on the books for a simple assault. Finally, there's a telehealth bill that would encourage insurers to cover doctor's visits that are covered both digitally and also over the phone. Reporting live from the state capitol, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.